Hello everyone, welcome back to Chenda DIY. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a simple bikini top. It is really easy and friendly for beginners. For this top, I only use some simple basic stitches that for beginners can try. Also for this top, I make for size small, but I also show you how to make the bra cup more bigger. Okay, now let's get into the video. To begin, make a slip knot. And chain 17. For the 17 chain, it is measuring from the under bust until the nipple. For you guys that make bigger size, please add more chains until you reach your measurement. And after you got 17 chains, next we are going to make the bulker shade. For row 1, skip 2 chains and make the bulker shade into the 3rd chain. To make the bulker shade, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop and now you have 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over pull through 2 loops. And yarn over pull through 2 loops again. And for this chain 2 that we skip, we also count as a stitch. And now you must have 2 stitches. And next, continue make the bulk of shade into every chain until you have 1 last chain. Then we meet you back again. And after you have one last chain, then we are going to make increase by make 3 double crochet into the same loop. After you got 3 double crochet into the same loop, then chain 1 and make 3 more double crochet into the same loop. And after you have made 3 more double crochet into the same loop, and now you must have 6 double crochet with chain 1. And next, we are going to continue working the stitch into this side. As you can see, this is the increasing stitch. And we are going to make the bulk shade into the next stitch. Keep making the bulk of shade into every stitch until you have one last stitch, which is the chain 2 stitch. Then we meet you back again. And after you reach the stitch near the chain 2 stitch, then we are going to make the bulk of shade into that chain 2 stitch. Like I said, for the chain 2 that we skip, we also count as a stitch. And 
and this is what the first row looks like. And next, for row 2, chain 3. For chain 3, we also count as a stitch. Then turn your work and skip the stitch that near chain 3 and make the ball crochet into the next stitch. Keep making the ball crochet into each stitch until you reach the chain 1 space, then I will meet you back again. After you reach the chain 1 space, which is the middle part of the row, then we are going to make increase by make 2 double crochet into the chain space. After you have made 2 double crochet, then chain 1 and add 2 more double crochet into the chain space. And now you must have four double crochet in the same loop and with chain 1 space, it is the middle part of the bra cup. And next, continue make the double crochet into each stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then we will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, and this is what the second row looks like, the bottom part of the bra cup should look straight. And for the next next row, please keep repeating row 2. By chain 3, turn your work and make the ball crochet into 8 stitch until you reach the chain space. And then make increase by make 2 double crochet in the same loop and chain 1 and make 2 more double crochet in the same loop. And then continue make the ball crochet into each stitch until the end of the row.
repeating this until you reach row 7, then we meet you back again. And after you reach row 7, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And this is what my bra cup looks like. For you guys that make bigger size, please add more rows by repeat row 2 until it can cover on your breast. And for the length of my bra cup, it is equal 5 inches. And for the height from the under bust until the middle part of the bra cup, which is the nipple part, it is equal to 2.5 inches. And next, please repeat the same thing to the other side. And then we are going to connect this both cup together. Turn your cup and attach the yarn into the corner stitch. After you have attached the yarn into the corner stitch, then chain 1 and make single crochet into the same loop with chain 1. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, and now you have 2 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 2 loops. And then make single crochet into the next loop, which is the middle part of the double crochet stitch. And then make single crochet into this small loop. As you can see, for one row of double crochet, you must have 3 single crochet stitch and next we are going to keep repeating this until you reach the end of the row then we will meet you back again And after you reach the end of the row, then we are going to connect the bra cup together by making single crochet both sides together, insert the hook into the loop, and then grab the other bra cup, and turn the bra cup into the part that it has the tail of the yarn, and we are going to continue insert the hook into the corner stitch. Then yarn over and pull through both sides loop. And now you have 2 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all 2 loops. And next, continue making single crochet into 8 stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then we meet you back again.
and after you reach the end of the row for the next row chain 2 turn your work and make half double crochet into the stitch near chain 2 to make half double crochet yarn over insert the hook into the loop yarn over and pull up a loop and now you have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops keep making half double crochet into each stitch until you reach the end of the row then i will meet you back again And after you reach the end of the row, and this is what the bikini top looks like after we have attached both bra cap together. And next, continue at 125 chains. It is for the string to tie at the back. If you guys want it more longer, you just add more chains. And after you got 125 chains, then we are going to make slip stitch by skip one chain and make slip stitch into the next chain to make slip stitch continue into the hook into the loop yarn over and pull through all the loops keep repeating this into every chain until you reach the end of the row then i will meet you back again And after you reach the last chain, then continue my slip stitch into the single crochet row. And this is what the string looks like. Then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And now we are done for the first string. And next, for the other side, you just turn your work and attach the yarn into the corner stitch. Then make 125 chains. It is the same number like the first side. And make slip stitch into every chain until the end of the row. Then we we'll meet you back again. And after you reach the last chain, then make slip stitch into the single crochet row. Chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And then tie both ends together. And now we are done for the back string. And next, we are going to make the string to tie around the neck. 
by attaching the yarn into the chain 1 space, which is the middle part of the bra cup. And make 125 chains. And then make slip stitch like we did at the previous string until you reach the end of the row, then we meet you back again. And after you reach the last chain, then make slip stitch into the chain 1 space. Chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And tie both ends together. And next, please repeat the same thing to the other side. And for the remaining yarn, please use the needle to weave in into the back part or into the wrong side of the bra cup. And now your simple bikini top is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook page. Stay safe and stay healthy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.